Hello, everybody. Welcome to Collab Investments. So this is the disclaimer of our channel, and uh, it's for educational purpose. Please continue to your do your own due diligence before you spend your own money. Okay. Last time we talked about what is a short short box spread. It has four legs, and uh, it's a good method to borrow money. Now let's continue on more details about the box spread. And the first thing is how to calculate the interest rate of box spread when you borrow money. And we know that you can borrow money close to the US treasury rate, which is very low. And this is how you calculate the interest rate. Let's first use the example, assuming the box spread has a size of 10. So for example, you sold the calls at 95 and buy at 105, and you, you reverse for the put. So with 10, 10 times 100, you can borrow uh, around $1,000. Assume the box will expire in a year, and you sold this box at $9, and you get $900. So what is the interest rate? The interest rate is the cost of your borrow money. So you get $9, what is your cost? When the box expire, you will lose $10. So the interest until you expire is the distance of the box, which is $10 minus the credit you have. That's $9 minus commission, and then divided by the credit. So in this specific case, it's about 11.1%. And for credit, you can calculate using the total credit, or you can minus your commission, get the actual end-to-end -end interest rate. So compare the box spread with the stock bank loan. The box spread interest rate is broker independent because it's the price built in to the option. So no broker has control to it. You place the bill, sorry, you place the trade and you get the interest rate based on the price the order is filled. Also, the interest rate uh, or the interest that you paid is actually capital loss based on the section 1256 contract rule from IRS. 60% of the interest is capital loss and 40%, 60% is long-term capital loss and 40% is short-term capital loss. Also the capital loss is marked to market at the end of each year. So uh, today is December, if you sell a box expire sometime next year and the end of this year, there is a mark to market price of the box. And the difference between your box price and the mark to market price is your capital loss that you can report for the, uh, on your tax return. So the question, we have a question about the box spread is whether we can refinance if the interest rate drops. Assume you sell a box expire in a year, but after six months, uh, interest rate drop, whether you can refinance similar to what you did in mortgage, in real estate investment. So let's look at a few more examples. Assume we have a two year box. You sell it and you get uh, $90. So basically you paid $10 of interest and you make a square root of this interest rate of the total interest. And you can calculate that the annual interest rate is around 5.4%. So in this first scenario, assume after one year, interest drops so that now uh, the one year box worth a lot more than before. So similar to bond, when interest drops, the box price increases. So now it's worth 97%, $97. Uh, 
and the interest rate also drops using our formula, we get that it's 3.1%. Uh, so you can sell the original box you bought and you get $97 back, which is good because you don't need to return $100, but you only need to return $97. But if you still want to borrow money, you can only sell uh, the box again and you get $97 again. And in the end, after expire, you still get deducted by $100. So it's a wash. So whether you sell and buy, uh, whether you buy back your original box and sell a new one, or you keep your original box, you get the same result. So you, you will just keep it. You cannot refinance. Let's look at another scenario. After one year, assume the interest increases so that the price of the box drops. It's only worth $93. And in this case, the interest rate is around 7.5%. So you can buy the original box back for $93. But uh, if you continue want to borrow money, you have to sell it again. So again, similar. There's no way to refinance. As long as you need to continue to borrow the money, you should hold the box until it expires.